I have some very, very exciting news to share, and this is a project that I've been working on for a while. What I'm working on is a niche boutique for Canadians. I have been smelling so, so, so many fragrances, and I'm finding that if you actually want to buy them in Canada, unless you're like ready to be on the hook for astronomical amounts of duties, like how are you supposed to find certain fragrances here? So I took it upon myself to launch a Canadian niche boutique. It is called Savor Fair, and I am starting with some of my most favorite brands that you guys have already known me to be obsessed with for so long, and some newer brands that I, as I was exploring, decided that they are absolutely phenomenal and need to be more available. So I'm gonna tell you guys everything about it, what I'm bringing in, and I need your help to let me know what you wanna see that is hard to find in Canada, because that's the goal here. As a fragrance lover, I wanna like bring these incredible fragrances to the Canadian market where they're kind of hard to find. We're gonna start off with my favorite brands and I'm gonna have Ormand Jane. These are my two favorites, Lavande and Vanille des Afriques. I have been obsessed with these as soon as I smelled them. Lavande is like a really bright, citrusy, peony, slightly mossy scent. It's very happy, similar to Fleur Narcotique, but just so much better and easier for daily wear. And Vanille des Afriques is this like very rich, buttery kind of orris powder scent. If you love like a lipsticky vibe, this is amazing. It's got a nice, elegant woodiness. I'm gonna bring in the whole like collection that I really love. I'm just highlighting some of my favorite ones right now. I'm bringing on Maison Matine. So I fell in love as soon as I sampled this brand. I just couldn't find my number one favorite. I just loved everything from them. So I have Pum Pum, which is just like a really fun, flirty, fruity kind of scent. I just think this is so uplifting. It has kiwi and freesia and is delightful. And these are pretty affordable and they have natural, naturally sourced ingredients, organic green alcohol, and their packaging is so minimal. Like they're so environmentally conscious, which I think is so important. So the Poom Poom is coming. Bandu Midi is like the best sunscreen scent I've ever smelled in my life. I just can never get enough of it. It's amazing. Uh, Warni Warni is like a spicy fresh tea scent, has cardamom and tea obviously, it is still super refreshing. And I really love Hazard Bazaar. Hazard Bazaar is like a powdery scent, it's almost like a second skin. It's, it's vanillic and powdery and really elegant and their most popular one is Avant L'Orage, which to me smells similar to like Zodig and Voltaire, this is her, it's like this almost like creamy whipped cream type of scent a little bit of nuttiness almost. So I'm bringing that one in as well, um, but I don't have a full bottle right now. And then I'm bringing in Soradora, which you guys know my obsession with Jani. Like Jani is just the bomb. And Brosseliande I really love and Mandorla. So let me know your favorites because I'm just starting off with my favorites favorites. Like we're doing this from scratch, my hubby and I, and we just want to build this out of passion. Another brand that I recently discovered, like this brand blew my socks off. I smelled it on my sister-in-law and I was like, you just, you just smell amazing. You have to tell me what you're wearing. And she was like, oh, I went to LA, I went to visit a friend and I just discovered this brand and it's something from this brand called Lease. And I was like, which one? And so she, I don't think she figured it out which one it was, but then I got a sample set and I'm pretty sure it was floating. And I basically wore my entire sample. And this fragrance is out of this world. It is, okay, if you like Ella's Brooklyn Myth, it's kind of like that. It is clean and fluffy and has ambrette. So it's like this sweet musky vibe. Oh, it's just the perfect everyday scent. It is a perfect signature scent. It's so, so good. And bow, bow is like a woody scent. So this kind of, I think it has notes of sequoia and very soft, like almost creamy woods. It almost smells like, like a fire somewhere in the distance, but it's so subtle that you're just like catching just a little bit of it. But meanwhile, you're walking through a really fresh, beautiful velvety forest. And it's, it's just the best woods. Like I want this in body and home scent. So yeah, those are my, I think my two favorites after I've sniffed everything. 
and they're amazing. They're, they're very California vibes. And when I was talking to the brand, like that, that is the idea behind it. They're all like super easy to wear and just very appealing, but they're very unique at the same time. Just like really, really chill. So I loved, I loved, loved, loved that. So I'm also probably gonna bring in M. Mika left, but I'm not sure because, okay, realistically, why would I bring in something that you guys can get on fragrance by? Like that doesn't make any sense, they're already available. And you guys can save 20% off basically always and i will have that code for you guys in the description because you guys are my viewers and you get the special perks but not only that i also have a loyalty program so the loyalty program allows you to accumulate points and then redeem them basically for free fragrances there's always going to be free samples in every order and what i am going to do I will always, always include a free sample of whatever fragrance that you guys are buying. That way you can sample it first. And if you don't like it, you can return the fragrance back. So obviously conditions apply and I'm gonna have all of that available in the description, but that is the idea. Like I never want you guys to ever get stuck with a fragrance that you don't love. So I hope this is a really exciting new thing. It's super exciting for us and yeah. Um, okay, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.